open Microsoft Visual Basic 2010 Express on your PC then click on new project then ensure Windows form application is selected then you can change the name yeah so I'm gonna call my my own calculator Yeah, I'm going to use the extension .vb. Yeah, for Visual Basic application. So click press OK. Then it's gonna bring you to a Windows Windows form. Yeah, so here it is. It's written form one on top. So at the end, our project is going to look like this. It's a calculator. It has a first number, second number, result, it has text boxes, and it has add, subtract, multiply, divide, buttons, and exit buttons. Yeah, so we begin. I'll first adjust the size of this form. Yeah. So that it can fit all the, all the common controls that I'm going to use. I'm going to need labels. I'm going to need four labels. Yeah, label one. You can drag and drop from the common controls window. Label one, label two, label three, and label four. So I'm gonna just arrange arrange them well. Yeah. So we're gonna need text boxes too. You can drag and drop, or you can just select it and place it on the form. We are going to need three text boxes, so just select three. Three text boxes, so I'm just going to adjust them appropriately. Yeah. I'm also going to move this so that it, they co correspond each other, they complement each other, rather. So I'm going to need buttons. I'm going to, you drag and drop a button. I'm going to need five buttons. So just select five buttons and place them on the form. Button one, then button two, button three, button four, then five. Yeah, I hope you're following up, guys. Yeah, so as usual, I'll just arrange them well for, yeah, so that you can easily understand my work. And also so that you can understand, yeah. So I'll just go ahead and name them. This is label one on the text property, on the properties window. I'm going to call it calculator. This one is going to be first number. Then label three is going to be second number. Then finally result. Yeah, I'm going to adjust this. Yeah, so this one is going to be result. I'm gonna adjust all of them. Yeah, so over to the button. This one is button. This one I'm just going to call it add. Button two will be subtract. Button three multiply. Then divide. Finally exit. Yeah, we are done with that. I'm just gonna go to the naming property. I'm not gonna name the label. So I'll just name the text boxes and the buttons. Starting with this one. You just select it and go over to the name. I'm going to call it text first. This one text second. Yeah, text second.
yeah then this one i just call it check results check results this one will be button add button sub sub then button mal mul then button div you don't have to actually name them as i'm doing but you can name them any other name yeah i'm not gonna name exit so i'll go over to the coding part you double click on add yeah so we declare our variables type dim dime a comma b comma c as string yeah we have declared our three variables which are a b and c then a is equals to decimal dot pass into bracket text first the first text box yeah text first dot text comma globalization dot number style dot number then close the bracket yeah you notice this text first let me show you where it's from so you see this first text box the name that we put here is the one that you are calling so we, when we go to the next one we're just also going to call this name too so we go over and continue to the next one so b is equal to decimal dot pass opening the bracket this is text second text second dot text comma globalization dot number style dot number close the bracket we go over to c c is quite different so c is equals to val value of a into bracket a plus val into brackets b close then we are going over to the results so we will confirm the name again so that we do not get errors the name of this last text box is it's text results so go over back so text results dot text is equals to c yeah it's gonna display the value of c so c dot so string yeah just like that we are done with the first one now you can go ahead and run the program and you see the result yeah so you manually enter a number it will be the first one then the second one then you can click the first button it will display the result the others won't work because you haven't put lines of code. So we go over to the next one. You double click on subject. Yeah, so we'll just copy paste these lines of code. We copy them and paste them on the next one. Yeah, just as simple. We just copy and test yeah so we'll change the sign here is subtraction so we'll use minus yeah we go over to the next one uh, so the code we copied we're just going to test again and change the sign so val a times val d so you put the multiplication sign yeah finally to divide 
you just paste then you change the sign a symbol so we are done with the with the computing part and finally we go to the exit so double click then type me me dot close uh close the open and close bracket now we are done with this we are done we can run click on that yeah then you run now it will all run manually enter a number i'm gonna use 1000 and click on number let's go with 55 add subtract multiply divide exit yeah so you're done i hope you all understood you can ask questions in the comment section i hope you enjoyed subscribe for more videos and thank you for watching yeah so bye